Norbert Elias said that society does not exist outside of ourselves, but in a complex dance of relations between and among ourselves. So how do we dance? We dance with our local communities. We dance with a global community. So, is there a difference? None. It's the same dance for humanity. We are one. But to achieve this oneness, we need an aloof detachment from social struggles. Let me share how I perceive detachment, learning it from my mother through poems that I wrote as a gift for her nine years ago. My mother was actually a leader activist, part of the social struggle, but this is how she taught me involvement and detachment. I wish I could shine my light as bright as you do. You are called Nanay by the slum dwellers in Quezon City, Tondo, Caloocan, Pasig and Taguig. They all say if it were not for Nanay, we wouldn't be who we are now. They used to be robbers, delinquent youths, hookers, and goons. But my mama came to them and gave them love, trust, and confidence. She made them realize how important they are, that they were born to be heroes and saviors, and transformed them into community leaders who would use their wisdom on the wounds of inequality to fight for justice. And they tell me it's all because of Nanai. In the social power struggle, we define groups with our concepts of established and outsider. Those with greater power think of themselves as superior than other groups with fewer power chances. Sometimes I think I am like that too, but somehow there is a different effect within me because of my mother and I found myself apologizing to her. Mama, I am so sorry for I used to sternly question you. Why you have to give your money to other people that we were forced to live a very simple life. You always say they are poor and they need more than we do. Mama, I am so sorry for looking at you with hurtful eyes when even my savings had to be donated to the striking laborers. Mama, I am sorry for scolding you when my favorite toys and clothes disappear in the closet and are sent to the orphanage. Now that I am old enough, I realize by having almost nothing, I learn to create and be creative. By having little food on the table, I learn to share more. By giving so much more than was normal in a materialistic world, I learned to deviate from rules to achieve my own milestones. We are so used to praise and blame gossip in which those belonging with the established groups use praise gossip to cement the bonds between their members. For instance, in a campaign against tobacco, which is also a campaign against smoking, but it should not put down the smoker, right? Like what my mother's group did in their campaign. Oh, 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 oh. Tayo ay para sa 
malinis na kapaligiran, walang second hand smoke ang kinutukoy ng smoke free movement. Hindi ko sinabi huwag kayo man ni Garillo, no? Ang sinasabi namin, huwag niyong idawit ang hindi na ni Garillo. Pero mas magaling dahil may COVID, huwag ka nang manigarilyo. Hindi tayo pinagbabawal ang manigarilyo. Ang iniingatan natin dito, yung mga kapwa natin, hindi na ninigarilyo. At siyempre, ang buong komunidad. I really feel sad about group stigmatization, group charisma, and group disgrace, which act as emotional barriers. It is true that our reciprocal distortion of group images and identities have direct relation to our sense of security, and this tension results to violence together with our collective emotionally laden fantasies about other groups. All I know is that if we are not able to master the art of detachment, we will always feel this drag effect. I myself really feel the drag effect every time I stand as part of the Philippine delegation for global meetings. We speak for a better world for the whole of humanity. But there is a drag effect between my view image and we ideal for a peaceful global community, which is part of my self image and self ideal as a unique person, as a Filipino. My group identity cannot be separated from my personal habitus. I am both I and we at any moment. Social perception exists within our personal structure. And at the same time, we have our national habitus, which are linked to the long-term process of state formation and now globalization. In a globalized world, with our aloof detachment, we realize that we are dancing the same dance. And the power of oneness within us will always prevail. Smoke free sa awit na ito'y pinababatid. Smoke free, dinig natin sa hangin na maghahatid. Smoke free sa awit na ito'y pinababatid. Smoke free, dinig natin sa hangin na maghahatid. Hi, this is her vlog.